Okay, let's back to step three. What we just covered in step three, the decision is we reject edge dot if the observed if the observed chi square is too big. Okay, now let's proceed to step four. Step four. KT ratios. Here, the calculation can be summarized as a big table, okay? Begin with the first column, category. We have five different category. Category A, B, C, D, and E. Five categories, okay? Five categories. And FO, the observed frequency. For A, 12 correct answer, R8. B, 14. C, 9. D, 5. E, 10. And under H92, we obtain the expected frequency one distribution. A, 10. B, 10. C, 10. D, 10. E is also 10. Under H32, if the instructor has no any particular preference over A, B, C, D, E, then A, B, C, D, E, they should all equally likely to be the correct answer. So they are all equal to 10, okay? And F, O minus F, E, the difference of these two columns, the first one is two, second one is four, and this is minus one, this is minus five, and this is zero. Now, FO minus FE squared. This is four, 16, one, 25, and zero. And then this number, FO minus FE squared. We divide it by one, divide it by FE. It become four divided by 10, which is 0 0.4. Second one, 1 1.6. Next one, 0 0.1. Next one, 2.5 and zero. Okay? So when we add it up, when we add it up, when we add it up, summation, FO minus FE squared over FO. This number, 0 0.4 plus 1.62, 2.1, 4.6, 4.6 plus 0 is still 1, 4.6, okay? Is this number too big or too small? Well, let's see. Let's check what? The chi-square table, okay? Let's check the chi-square table. This is chi-square with 4 degree of freedom. If you check the chi-square table with 4 degree of freedom, when degree of freedom, is equal to four. And alpha is what? Five percent. When degree of freedom is four. Four. Alpha is five. Upper what? Five percent, okay? Upper tail, we cut five percent off. If you check the table, you will find this number is nine point one. 9.488 is 9.488. So that is to say, step five. The region of rejection, chi square with four degree of freedom. This is zero. And this number is 9.488. That means what? Too big. Upper tail is 5%, so to speak. Okay? Now, this is what we call the table chi square value. Or you can call this is critical chi square value.
And observe chi square b in our example. We just compute that number as what? As 9.6. So where is 9.6? 9.6 is about here. Uh, it's 4.6, okay, it's 4.6. This is called observed chi square value, okay? Since observed chi square value is not in the region of rejection, this is what we call the region of the rejection. So our conclusion is, so our conclusion is, we retain H star, or we fail to reject H star. And that is to say, this finding suggests that the instructors shows no tendency to assign any particular correct responses from A to E. The difference between what we expect and what we observe can be passed off as merely the results of sampling error or chance error, okay? And in the exam, don't just say what, retain edge not, or Reject that. Okay, give a little bit more verbal description. 